some projector lights on a C63S, a 2019 C63S uh, convertible. And so we'll go ahead and get into this video and start putting on uh, these projector lights. Basically what they do is when you open the door on the vehicle, they project the light out onto the road. So, um, or parking lot, wherever you happen to be. So here, if you want to take a look, here's the car we're going to be putting it on. And I just got this, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, we're going to be going ahead and put them on here. So basically once you open the door, is going to project the light out onto the ground and I'll show you here um, on my other vehicle it already has them installed so, so you'll see on this this is a 2019 uh, GLC 63s and it, you'll see when I open the door you've got the Falterbach AMG Falterbach logo on the door when you open it so um, that's what I'm, I, I installed these on this vehicle and uh, my wife's vehicle um, had them, has them as well. Hers is a Mercedes logo and uh, hers came with them. So um, I'm going to be putting them on this uh, new uh, C63S and uh, making it so they're basically, the it's a Mercedes logo with the AMG text underneath of it is the light that's going to come on. So we'll go ahead and get into it. projection lights on this C63S and uh, you can see here's our light right under here so all you have to do to get it uh, to change these out is just reach up here and pull the old the factory light out so you just want to loosen it it's, it'll just be a little snug as you come out um, depending on which way you pull this So, if you just be careful, because you don't want to mess up your door panel, but uh, they come right out. So you can see, they just come out. And then here's the new ones that we ordered. You can see the difference. So uh, the old one that's connected still ha doesn't have the projector beam on it. And the new one has a projector beam. So that'll display, once this new one's hooked up, that'll display the Mercedes logo on the ground outside of the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and hook them up. What I do notice though on these particular ones is the uh, the teeth are a little smaller on here. If you notice um, the, the teeth on the front of each of the lights, you see this first one here, and then look at the one in the back. The teeth are a lot bigger on the factory one. It looks like it's the same thing on the bottom too. So if you look at the Hopefully you can see that if you look at the uh, teeth on it and then you look at the teeth on this one it's just a lot the factory ones are they stick out a lot further so hopefully these uh, will fit and uh, 
we'll get them plugged in and working. So we've got the new one installed, but, um, and it does project the logo, as you can probably partially see it there on my hand, AMG, you can see the Mercedes logo, but the, the fit is really bad. Um, these are aftermarket, and you can see they're just, they're just loose, they don't stay in. So we're gonna have to uh, get some tech support and maybe get these swapped out with a pair that fit, but the, it, like I was saying before I put them in those tabs I think the tabs are just too small they don't stick out far enough so they're not putting enough pressure to hold the the light in so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the factory ones back in and then we'll um, update the video once we get the new ones back um, a different different set okay guys fast forward a couple weeks here and we've got some new set of lights um, to try on these doors so we'll see if these new ones fit they sent me a different set so hopefully these will work and we'll be able to get these installed so let's give it a shot so at first glance these are looking a lot closer to what um the factory ones look like so here's the here's the factory one still pretty hot i just took it out um there's the factory one on the right and you can see now the teeth um on the factory one hopefully that'll come into focus but the teeth on the factory one there's little teeth on the front there and then um, there's also some teeth on the back. On this one, it's very similar. So if you look at the, the teeth here that are on the back of this one, you can see that they're almost identical on this new one. So it's looking promising. Let's see what happens. So I've gone ahead and pulled out the uh, factory light here. And uh, they're pretty easy. Just pops down and unplug it. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, plug in this new um, light and... Uh, Go ahead and see what what happens here so these are much much better fit um just just uh actually had an a audible snap when it went in like it like uh it actually latched and they're not loose so you can see now they're no longer loose like the previous ones that i was sent um so these actually work and fit the vehicle and seem to be a really good fit actually they're very snug very well uh, mounted they're flush so hopefully you can see that, that the little um, part where the beam is that has the um, projector light that projects onto the ground that's kind of sticks down just just a little bit so we'll see hopefully that clears the door jam here when the when the door is is closed on the vehicle hopefully it'll clear so let's give it a shot and see carefully <laughs> and slowly see if the door if that clears yeah, no issue. Seems to be just fine. So um, there's no uh, spot for, and if it does hit, it's just, um, if it were to ever hit, it's just this plastic portion here. It's not actually a metal to metal contact point. So um, the door's been open long enough so the parking light's shut off. Um, so let's go ahead and turn that back on and see if we can see what the light actually looks like. I think I need to start it. Give me one second here. Let's go ahead and start the car back up. So it might be kind of hard to see since it's daytime out. Um, but it appears that the light is working. So you can see here now we've got the probably very hard to see on the in the daylight here, but there's a you can now see the Mercedes and then the AMG logo. Again, it doesn't doesn't show up very well because it's so light out right now. But uh, it definitely works. You can see it's lit up. And uh, these these are a much better fit, so super excited um gonna pop, pop the other one in and then wrap this project up okay so we're gonna go ahead and do the driver's side now and uh we'll have this project wrapped up here pretty quick so got this one other light here on the driver's side that we gotta pull out 
So I just wanted to show you guys how, how to pull them out, but basically you just stick your fingernails under and just carefully kind of work the, the light down and you'll feel it. So there's a plug on this side, the towards the rear of the car, there's a plug. So if you can pop the front down, you'll be able to pull it out. There we go. Just like that. So you'll see it's just, it's just plastic teeth um, on each end. Those little plastic teeth are what hold it into place in here. So you just pull it out and then you just pull pull this plug free. Uh, let's see. It, it, it's kind of on there. It's pretty, pretty snug. So there we go. I got it. So yeah, you just pull that, pull that connector plug out of the end and then you're good to go. So that's it. I'm going to pop this other one in and see how that, how it turns out. All right, we're good. This one went in really easily. Um, just a nice, nice little audible click when it went in and uh, plugged back in and, and you can see the lights on. And uh, again, due to the time of day, it's hard to see, but you can barely see it. Probably make it out on my arm here. But uh, yeah, so it's working and we're good to go. So now we've got marker lights on our 2019 C. 63 S convertible and uh, that's a pretty e easy install so I'd highly recommend doing it if you like the looks of of the puddle lights and uh, the projector lights whatever you want to call them they uh, they really add a nice nice look to the vehicle all right guys it's a little later now and I want to go it's got darker so I want to go ahead and show you guys what these lights projector lights look like now that they're it's dark out so you can see there on the cement there's like a crack in the cement there but you can see there's the projected logo so that's what the lights do is they provide that uh, logo projection so looks really good